Substack and Ghost are two of the most popular platforms for creators. You can use them for blogs and newsletters, but they are very different tools. So let's find out who is better in this epic comparison. Substack is a no-code publishing platform. You can use it for blogs, newsletters and creating a podcast. Creating an account takes two minutes and there is nothing to install with them. Ghost is an open source publishing platform. And because they are open source, you can decide to self-host to save money or use managed hosting so you don't take care of installation and maintenance. I have a video in the channel where I explain all the differences. And Ghost is great for blogs and newsletters. You can use Ghost and Substack for blogs and newsletters. When it comes to newsletters, a Substack page and a Ghost website work as the public archive. This way, current subscribers can read posts online and new users can discover your publication on the internet. You can also use them exclusively as a blog. This means you can publish posts without sending by email. However, Ghost offers more flexibility. On Substack, you can publish and send by email or publish only. On Ghost, you have three options, publish and send, publish only or send by email only. This means you can keep the content from the blog separate from the newsletter. And this is usually better for SEO. When we look at them as email service providers for advanced marketing stuff, neither is fantastic as they don't have email automation. But at least Substack has welcome emails and better analytics. Substack works better for pairing a podcast with a blog or newsletter as they offer free hosting for podcasts. On Ghost, you can integrate podcast episodes, but you have to host with other company. On Substack, the editor is clean, with only the essential settings at the top, allowing you to focus on just writing. But this simplicity comes at the cost of some features, for example, custom HTML and code injection. This means you cannot embed an iframe for a contact form, create an HTML table, add script, and you cannot add nofollow links. The latter can cause you a penalty from Google. As I will tell you later in the video, Substack is really weak for SEO and you can start to understand why. But the editor just works and is a dream for a beginner, however, the editor on Ghost is the best best I've tried on any publishing platform. The layout is clean and the features are great. They support custom HTML, you drop a link and it automatically creates bookmarks, you can embed scripts, iframes, etc. It's really, really good. I think the only things missing are version history and a card for email capture. So yeah, there's no comparison between them. Substack works, but Ghost is on another level. When it comes to extending functionalities, Substack doesn't allow any of that. Again, this is defaulting to simplicity and is a big limitation for some users. Integrate Integrations could allow adding pop-ups to a Substack page, adding the subscriber to a third-party email service provider with email sequences, etc. On the contrary, Ghost has hundreds of integrations available, including Zapier. You can integrate Ghost with almost any service you might need. For example, you can create a referral program for your blog or newsletter. This might be handy if you have a big following. Another use of integration is fixing product flaws. For example, on Ghost there are no comments on posts but with an integration you can fix that. This cannot happen on Substack if you find any limitation. Visual customization on Substack is limited. At this point, there are only three layout options and five font types to pick from. But at least you can make changes without code. Because of these limited options, every Substack page looks the same. This will make it hard for you to stand out and create a unique style. After seeing some Substack publications, you can identify other Substacks from a mile away. Ghost is the opposite when talking about customization. There is an abundance of free and paid themes to pick from. And I even made you a video about it that you can watch later. If you don't like any theme, you can code one or hire a Ghost expert. For example, you can even work with the Inorion team and me. But now let's talk about prices before we address SEO. The good news is that Substack is free. Yes, you can use it for free without strings attached. You only have to pay if you charge for memberships. In that case, they will keep 10% of your revenue. I think this is the biggest reason for Substack becoming so popular. They lure users in with the promise that it will be free, create a network effect, and then Substack makes a fortune from user charging memberships. But don't be fooled, 10% is too much after a certain amount of subscribers. For example, if you charge more than $3,000 per year, Ghost Pro will be cheaper than Substack. This means that if you have more than 60 subscribers paying you $50 per year, Substack will be more expensive than Ghost Pro. The downside of Ghost is that they don't have free plans. However, the official managed hosting prices start at $9 per month, which is fair. But this is a barrier for beginners on a tight budget, so most end up going with Substack. But there are free hosting options for Ghost if you are comfortable with code and the command line. Now let's talk about that mythical beast for success on Google, SEO. 
video. For me, this is the most important part when I pick a platform and the differences between Ghost and Substack are huge. Both platforms have custom domains, URL customization, robots.txt file and sitemaps. These are good building blocks for SEO, but Substack misses crucial features like redirects, custom meta descriptions, nofollow and sponsored links and canonical tags. This explains the reports of Substack users complaining about a lack of SEO success and they find success shortly after moving away from Substack. This might sound harsh, but you need to understand what you are getting into when you use Substack. I work in the SEO industry and I make a lot of searches per day and I never found a Substack publication on search results without putting the word Substack in the search box. I sometimes even use a VPN on the USA and still nothing. As for Ghost, I don't have SEO complaints after using it for more than 10 months. On the contrary, results have been growing steadily. Ghost has all those features that I mentioned that Substack lacks, so things are great. The only improvement I think Ghost needs is on image SEO. At the moment, none of the images on my site ranks well and I don't understand why. The bottom line is that Ghost is much better for SEO than Substack. But after all this talk, what tool is better? Substack is more like the screwdriver. It's simple, reliable and better for people that only want to focus on writing. Substack usually works better for famous writers that don't need to worry about SEO. The most prominent examples are journalists leaving high paying jobs to start Substack. But if you are a beginner that wants to grow organically, you will face an uphill battle on Substack and you will find more SEO success with other platforms if you want to blog. Also, you have to remember that Substack has content guidelines and they can ban you at any time. For me, that's a deal breaker. So even if Substack is more limited and you have to pay 10% in commissions, that's worth it for some people especially beginners that want to start a newsletter for free. As for Ghost, it will be more like the power drill. A beginner might find it a little bit harder to use, but after a couple of days, there won't be any problem. Ghost is better for professional use and some top companies like Mozilla, Duolingo, Cloudflare, Buffer and Airtable use Ghost for their blog. Also, Ghost is a natural progression for Substack users when their newsletter grows and they want to avoid paying a fortune for the limited features of Substack. Ghost is great for SEO, is customizable and has reasonable prices, which makes it the best option for blogging. Now, if you are looking for a Substack alternative, watch this video next or watch my review after using Ghost for 9 months.